Prometheus, the Titan God of Fire, whose name means foresight. Before the beginning of humanity, there was a 10-year war between the Titans and the Olympians. Prometheus had the foresight to defect to the side of the Olympians with his brother Epimetheus, but not his brother Atlas. Not long after the creation of humanity, Prometheus stole fire from the Olympians to give to humanity to survive and to thrive. For his crimes, Zeus strapped him to a cliff where each day an eagle would devour his liver, and at night it would regenerate, repeating the process for all eternity. Welcome to Prometheus. These 14 contestants are about to start a two-day journey in this new online reality competition. They are all playing from the comfort of their homes while utilizing Zoom and Messenger to build relationships, alliances, lie, scheme, and backstab one another. Some are brand new to the game. So, something you need to know about me is that I've never played an online reality game before. Hang low, lay in the background, let everyone pick each other off. And some are still fresh. Now that I've played a few orgs, I'm hoping to be a little bit more seasoned, a little bit more prepared, um, and having a stronger grasp on kind of the environment around me. But this time around, I hope to be the one kind of driving the game, making the moves. While others are experienced veterans. And I'm back yet again to give myself another go at one of these games. I'm super excited to play this one. I think minis are really suited for my style of game. And you know what, for this one, I'm just coming in. I'm going to be myself. And one has pulled himself from retirement. I'm just excited to get this started. You know, like I said, at 30 years old, I'm, uh, you know, I'm, I'm a lot more humble and calm down and chill than I was last time I tried to play an ORG. In the end, only one will ascend to become the first Promethean. Yo, what up? Hi. Hey. Hey. Um, good morning, everyone. Hey. Good morning. How is everyone? Who, who here is a fellow West Coaster? Hey. Oh my God. Hello. Uh, I'm Kyle Goulston. I'm 23, and I'm a sales finance analyst, whatever that means. But my dream job is to be a comedian. I'm from Irvine, California. Well, I'm not from, but I live in Irvine, California. I'm from Las Vegas originally, so talk to me about that. As far as my strategy, um, I don't have one. Normally I play longer games than this, and so I'm able to do more of a slow burn, primarily social game. But because of the nature of this game, I'm probably gonna have to change that up. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey. Uh, how early did you wake up? Oh God, like five. I was supposed to get up at 4.30, but then yeah, the alarm yeah. went off and I was like, that was a stupid decision, Kyle. <laughs> <laughs> what is everyone's time zones? Does anyone, is it like a crazy time for some of you? Um, it's currently half past three in the afternoon for me. I'm in the UK, so I'm a bit late in the morning. But... Hi, so I'm Joe. I'm 20. I'm a musical theatre student from the UK. And it's currently about quarter to one. My time, so the game starts in just over an hour. Um, I'm just planning my game or how to go into the game. So I'm going to try and lay low at the start of the game. So I'll merge, maybe just make some strong connections with the people I can tell will be good in challenges because hopefully people will see each other's challenge assets and use that as a reason to take each other forward. And that works in my favor because that's an area I excel in. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> um, Why not? <laughs> how do you do that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't have that. I don't look like that you just, uh, there's just oh. like a little like shelter forest and you can join either one of them. Wow. No one wants to be in the shelter with me. <sighs> okay, here we go. We got someone. All right. Hello. What's going on, everyone? It's Zach Pedretti. I'm 20 years old from Westchester, New York, and I'm a college student. I go to the University of Maryland. I like to describe myself as everyone's favorite or least favorite fat heartthrob, because you know I got some pounds, but I'm handsome. I got a nice smile. That was not nice. But um, yeah. 
Um, I'm coming in with the mindset to have fun and fuck shit up. That's really where I'm at. Um, my last game I did win, and now I'm in the mindset of just like, let's do what we want. And that's what I'm going to do in this game. So how are you guys feeling about this? I haven't done like a game like a mini like this before. So I'm like, I was kind of nervous. I have not played a mini at all. Have you guys Minis done are any? different. Uh -huh. Okay. I've, I've only done uh, like long-term Facebook ORGs. And I did that like literally like 10 years ago. Oh, so, wow. No yeah. way. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back. All right. Hey there, everyone. Name's Tiki, and I am very excited to get started on this Prometheus journey. So let's say, let's see, going down the checklist, my age, 30 years old. I just want to touch bases with my strategy just for a minute because I got to admit, I don't have a ton of thoughts in regards to, like, you know, the numbers of it all. What the only real thing that I have in the back of my mind as far as how I want to play this game is I want to make sure that I can connect with as many people as I can. Um, I'm very curious about the overall ages of the cast members. That is one thing because like I feel like at 30 years old I could potentially be right in the middle of the age bracket here. Is it Caro Caro? How do you pronounce it? Whatever you want, Caro Caro. If you speak Spanish, you know. <laughs> Yeah. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my real name's Carolina. I just, I like to go by Caro, you know. What's up, everyone? My name is Carolina. I am 28 years old. I live in New York City. I would definitely categorize myself as a social player. I do rely a lot on my social relationships. Um, that's just how I am as a person. And so I'm not necessarily the most strategic person. I'm trying to mix it up a little bit and, you know, become more strategic in my game style and pull those moves that further my game at the right time. And while, you know, yes, this game is full of backstabbing um, and, you know, people coming after you, um, I think the biggest thing is being resilient from round to round. Just because someone guns for you before or may have written your name down doesn't mean you can't create a partnership with them in the future. I think that's what helped me get to the end in other games. And, um, you know, I play loyal, but I'm not going to play loyal to a fault. I'm probably going to stay in the shelter. I was the first one here. We got we to gotta start building it, you know. <laughs> Well, it's like Fiji. Yeah. It's the uh, it's the shelter builders versus the explorers. <laughs> <laughs> well, then well, while everyone is here, let me ask everyone my favorite question to ask people during the game. Hi, all. My name is Andrew. I'm 30 years old. I just turned 30 last month, uh, but I've been celebrating my birthday since the end of April, and we're sitting here at early stages of June, and I'm still celebrating. My strategy for this game. So minis, not really my thing i've only done two but not really my thing uh i'm a very big advocate of the social game uh i am very vocal about the fact that i think that people that only play strategically are like closeted or real life sociopaths um now whether i'm being totally serious about that you can ask but um <laughs> semi-retired for like two weeks uh but this has gotten me out of it so i'm hoping that it is worth it i don't doubt that it will be won't be will be won't be tyler i saw you on the other side right hey there hey there yeah yeah uh you guys just um, for the record you guys can call me either tyler or tiki um the reason why i'm going with tiki is kind of like my sort of name is just because i'm a podcast host and you know branding <laughs> that's my podcast host name. nice i'm gonna go taking taking notes oh that room's full that's why i'm over here i got kicked oh. out Whoa. Oh, uh, <laughs> my, my, my <laughs> we were wondering what happened good morning guys my name is david and i am 27 years old and i am a band director from dallas texas um so my strategy coming into this game um so i want to be well liked um so i don't want to be involved in like any other drama or like i just want to be in the know I want us to be someone that everyone trusts. So I plan to kind of float by um, for the majority of this game until maybe halfway or a little bit towards the end and then just really become a cloud beast. So we'll see how that strategy works out for me. I've never tried it before, so here goes nothing.
What up to the forest? Hi, my name is Samantha Hindman, but everyone calls me Sam. I'm an 18 year old broadcast journalism student from Pittsburgh, PA. Honestly, I've never played one of these games before, but I do really like reality TV, so I feel like I'll be able to pick up the ropes kind of quickly. Also, I hope that people don't think that I'm too much, because sometimes I can be a little too much. Hopefully, I can, you know, make some good friends out of this, win some money, and、uh, overall have a good time. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Yeah. Okay, yeah. join the forest. Okay. Hey guys. Hi, I'm Mara Hunsicker. I'm 44 years old. I'm King of Prussia, Pennsylvania.、Um, nanny slash babysitter slash braid queen.、Um, I've never gamed before or done anything like this,、um, but my son and my nephews, of course,、uh, they want to be、uh, gamers, YouTubers, whatever. Um, and I do love a few reality TV game shows. So I figured, why not give it a try and、um, make them all jealous? I'm also in PA. I'm in King of Prussia. Oh, my oh God. I'm、oh, in the other side. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah. There's so many PA people. So many、here. PA people. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Anna Rigetti. I'm 26 years old. I work at a daycare and I'm also a YouTuber. I. I am really excited to play Prometheus and I'm also really nervous. I hope I can make it to the merge and pass the merge and, of course, all the way to the top and win. But I think my strategy will kind of be to play dumb at least at the beginning. Have you guys played、uh, these sorts of things before? Because this is my first time, so I'm like a、okay. little nervous. <laughs> my first time, too. Oh, nice. I've、yeah. not done any like. On Zoom, face to face. I've done some over like Discord, but that's that's all really. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, welcome to the challenge grounds. This is the room in which you will compete in all of your reward and immunity challenges. Now, like. Anything in this game, there's always a story behind it. So, for your first reward challenge, you will be competing in a challenge we like to call as quick as Hermes. Now, Hermes was the divine messenger. He was gifted with the winged sandals. These sandals allowed for Hermes to quickly travel between the worlds of mortal and god. For this challenge, you'll be given a maze, and in this maze, you will need to deliver a message by navigating through the maze into one of the two colored points. Once you have made it to those colored points, you will screenshot your maze and send it to production, in which you will then be prompted a question. Answer the question correctly, and you will move on to complete your maze. The first two to complete this, the fastest, will win reward. All right, guys, Prometheans ready. In three, two, one, go. We've already had a few submissions. Give us a moment to check the timestamps. All right, guys, the results are in. 
So, the first place winner of As Quick As Hermes is Kyle. Congratulations, Kyle, on your first place win. We will get to the reward in just a moment. As for the second place winner, we have Caro. Congratulations, Caro. All right, your reward for this challenge is that you two will be captains of your tribe. Okay, so this is the first confessional, and I'm already slurring my words. Dude, I'm so tired. <laughs> but, um, I'm... I'm feeling okay. I, I didn't make a whole bunch of social bonds, but that's kind of like what I was trying to do. I wanted to appear because there's always going to be people who are like the life of the party and extroverted and, and taking up all the space in a conversation. And I wanted to kind of appear a little more um, reserved. And I feel like I made a really good connection with David. I still don't see this. <laughs> Oh God. Where'd um, you go? Because I don't see it on mine. <laughs> I really I'm gonna be the last to figure this out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally like dying here. <laughs> no. okay. Mine Thanks. doesn't have anything, I swear. There's a little button at the bottom. It's like four boxes. It says breakout rooms. No? no. Nothing. No. Well, we can just chill here. <laughs> We got to feel, feel, feel bad leaving you alone. <laughs> yes, thank you. So thank you, Kyle. You're the real one. <laughs> got you. That is the biggest bond I've built with anyone so far. So, so far I'm liking almost everyone that I'm meeting in the game so far. But the one person or the one thing that I want to capitalize on is the fact that Kyle waited for me, even though I couldn't find any of the breakout rooms. I'm going to try to build a relationship with him really fast because, I mean, he's the last person that I saw. So I think that we could really work together. He seems like he has a good head on his shoulders, but I didn't really get to know him. So I'm going to try to get to know him. Um, Zach, um, from what I noticed, he has won games. Um, so he's either a threat or a really strong ally. Um, and as far as I'm concerned, um, I kind of want to wait and I want to take someone with me strong to the end. So Zach looks like we're going to be working together. And then Carolina, um, she just seems like one of those people that um, is very trustworthy, very easy to talk to. Okay, so there was one person that sort of stood out to me and it was David. David's Latino just like me, so I feel like we're vibing and I like his vibe. I feel like I hope that we're on the same tribe. If not, I hope we end up swapping, working together at some point in the future. Um, another person um, that I got really good vibes from was Sam. She uh, mentioned she's a first time player um, and she just seems like super like chill and like a good person to have conversation with based on the group combo. Oh, I also super, like I felt this vibe with Zach. Um, he's also lives in New York, so I liked him. Lauren, also Tyler. I really hope that I am on a tribe with one of these players that I mentioned that I hit it off with. So I just want to point out for the record, um, as a West Coast person, as one of the few West Coast people here, two triple shots! Two triple shots! I am so hyper right now! Um, it's almost kind of ridiculous. I'm really gonna have to, uh, contain myself. So, I gotta say, uh, the big thing that's stressing me out with this, uh, this whole format right now is the, uh, the break rooms, because, like, from what I could tell, only a couple people were moving around, and... I honestly am now like, crap, did I, like, I, I, I only got to meet a select handful of people. Anyways, uh, getting good vibes from everyone here, but I gotta say, it's, uh, like I said, it's just kind of a stressful, like, oh boy, like, how are we going to, are we spending enough time in each break room? I, I don't know, um, it's, it's a really interesting format, and I apologize if I'm all over the place, because again, two triple shots. I'm not even done with the, uh, they, like, look how hyper I am, and I've got this one left to go, so. We get there, he automatically says to us, the host, Casey, all right, listen, you're gonna go break off into breakout rooms. Fine by me. However, there's a room limit? What? 
that just makes the game so much more difficult because then if someone joins the room, who the hell's gonna leave? Also to note, I recognized Mr. Andrew Coach. He is in this game as well. I do have some sort of a connection with him, but what I made sure to do was not be in the breakout room with him. I waited for him to select first and went to the opposite room. We do have past history with each other, so we'll see what happens. I'm not going to throw my game away for Andrew by all means. So if I need to do what I have to do and vote him out, see ya. Also, Colin Kosar, I'm sure he recognizes me as well. And I'm probably thinking he's a little surprised how calm I am because if he watched my season, I was not. I was chaotic. I was a bitch at times. I was all over the place. But at the same time, I need to rein it in, show Colin Kosar a different side of me, which is my pure, genuine self right now. Um, so I pretty much got to talk to everyone except Andrew, Kyle, and Zach, and Sam. So those are the people I might need to watch out for, especially if we get to be on a tribe together, um, or I just gotta sh schmooze them over. Um, um, location, a lot of us are from Pennsylvania, so that's great. Um, uh, I would say the only person that didn't talk most of the time the recording has stopped. was Colin, the other Colin. Um, so... I don't know if he's really made a connection with anyone. That Kuzart guy seems cool. He's got the same name as me, and he decided to change it um, and go by his last name, which like isn't easy to pronounce. So like that was kind of weird. And uh, yeah, I can't believe he he just offered to change his name. I would have never did that. So good on him because I wasn't changing. I actually kind of think Joe's really cool. I think uh, he's gonna be a big player. People don't know it yet because he's got the bad internet connection, but. He's gonna be a player. I can see it. I can see it. Um, there's some people who weren't talking as much. I'm hoping that will maybe hinder them. Just like not being able to build up those social connections. It's gonna be two tribes of seven, I assume. So I'd only really need three people to form a majority. But that first vote is usually typically unanimous or like five two maybe. But there won't be a split, not at the first vote. That's something I will not allow to happen because that scares me. After the dawning, I went into the forest first and Mara, Sam, Lauren, Col both Collins, so Kuznar too, and, and, and Joe were in there. And I really liked that group. I thought we all were talking well. There were a couple awkward silences, but for the most part, I got good vibes from everybody. I think Mara as well. I think I'd like to work with her because she is the oldest. And so she could be a good potential um, kind of shield, but also kind of, um, I think people are going to underestimate her and and that she could have some really valuable information and insight. I'm absolutely terrified. Um, not, not that I'm actually scared, but obviously all these young kids. Um, I think I'm probably the oldest in the in the game, so uh, maybe I have a little bit more life experience, but. Um, I'm looking forward to um, maybe building an alliance with somebody, getting to know someone else. I mean, I love networking with people and meeting new people and um, whatever. So um, I'm excited and nervous um, about what's to come. So basically at this point, I'm thinking two things. The first thing is that I am the youngest person here. And the second thing that I've noticed is that a lot of them do have a lot more experience than me playing these kinds of games. And that is definitely going to give them a competitive edge. But I also get the competitive edge of, you know, being able to play up the, this is my first time, you know, very naive, make them trust me. But there are a few of them that I feel like are acting a lot nicer than they really are. But they're talking about how, you know, everybody in these games lie. Everybody in these games, um, you know, manipulate other people is a little bit 
you know, given me some mixed feelings. Because if you're saying that everyone is fake, that would naturally include yourself, right? Kyle, since you placed first in the challenge, you and the members of your tribe will be known as the Primordials. The Primordials were the first generation of gods. Caro, since you placed second in the challenge, you and your tribe will be known as the Titans, the second generation of gods. Alright, so here's how the tribe divisions will work. Kyle, once again, since you were the winner of the challenge, you will get first pick. Then, Caro will get her pick. After that, your chosen member will get to choose one person to join your tribe. So on and so forth until all players have been chosen for a tribe. Alright, Kyle, you're up. Sure. Um, it's a little easier because I only met half the people. But um, I'll go with uh, Andrew. Um, I'm going to go with Zach. I'm going to go with Anna. All right. Um, I'm going to pick David. I'm going to pick Mara. Um, I'm going to pick Sam. I'm going to pick uh, Kuzanar. Right? Is that how you say it? Close enough. <laughs> okay. I was like, uh, all right, you're my pick. I am going to pick Lauren. Uh, I will choose Joe. I'm going to go with uh, Tiki. Let's go. I'll go with, oh, the last person to choose is stressful. I'll go with Colin. Let's go, Joe. Let's go. All right. So that is everyone. So for the Primordial Tribe, we have Kyle, Andrew, Anna, Mara, Colin, Joe, and CJ. For the Titans tribe, we have Caro, Zach, David, Sam, Lauren, Tiki, and Caitlin. All right, guys, head on over to your rooms and enjoy your new tribes.